Did you know that the word squirrel comes from the Greek word skiaros, which means shadow tail? It makes sense because these little acrobats love to hide under the shadow of their bushy tail. And that is why they're called as squirrels. Prairie dogs are actually a type of squirrel. They got their name because they live in prairies and their warning calls sound like dogs bark. 50 different species, flying squirrels have a special furry membrane stretching from their wrists to their ankles that acts like a parachute. They usually glide about 30 to 50 feet, but the longest glide ever recorded was an amazing 300 feet. There are over 280 types of squirrels in North America, Asia, Europe and Africa. The only place you won't find squirrels is Australia. Perhaps because they went extinct there. Squirrels are part of the Siuridae family under the order Rodentia, all descending from a common ancestor that lived 30 to 40 million years ago. The earliest squirrel fossils, dating back around 36 million years, uh, were discovered in Western North America. Researchers used DNA analysis and fossil records to determine when and where different squirrel species evolved. Climate change and tectonic events have influenced squirrels' evolution by altering habitats and connecting or separating land masses. The smallest squirrel, the African pygmy squirrel, measures only 5 inches from nose to tail and diverged from other squirrels around 35 million years ago. In contrast, the largest squirrel, the Indian squirrel, can grow up to 3 feet long. Squirrels are fascinating to watch. They play many roles in nature, acrobat, bandits, gardener, trickster and more. When they are keeping an eye on you or others, they think that you might be a thief. Sometimes they pretend to dig a hole and cover it up without actually burying a nut. They do this to trick anyone trying to steal their food. They bury nuts underground to ensure they have enough to eat during the winter, so they keep multiple food stashes and have an incredible memory remembering thousands of hiding spots. But it is tough to watch all of their hidden food at once, so other squirrels or birds often take advantage of that and they steal it. Sometimes squirrels get eaten by predators before they can finish their stored food, and the nuts they buried sprout into new trees in the spring. This way, they have helped grow countless trees in the forest. So that's a good reason to appreciate them. Did you know that their front teeth never stops growing? To keep them from getting too long, they must gnaw on nuts and tree barks. This is also true for many other rodents. In fact, the word rodent comes from the Latin word rodea, which means to gnaw. Squirrels are amazing gymnasts. They can fall from heights of 30 meters without getting hurt, and they can leap 10 times their body length. When they jump or fall, their tails act like parachutes to help them land safely. They can also run up to 20 miles per hour. And when they feel threatened, they run in a zigzag pattern which helps them escape from hawks and other predators. This tricky move makes it hard for predators to catch them. They communicate by using a variety of vocal calls and scent marking. They twitch their tails from one side to another to signal others that a potential danger is nearby. Squirrels fall into two main categories on the basis of where they live. Ground squirrels and tree squirrels. Ground squirrels, which include chipmunks and prairie dogs, have short tails and they never climb trees. They make their homes and burrows in the ground with several separate rooms or chambers for sleeping, storage and as nurseries for their young. Each burrow typically has two entrances, <laughs> very smart, uh, allowing the squirrel to escape if one entrance is blocked by snow or uh, by a predator. Tree squirrels such as grey squirrels, red squirrels and flying squirrels have long bushy tails and they build their nests called drays from twigs and leaves on trees branches uh, or in tree hollows. 
Unlike ground squirrels, tree squirrels do not hibernate during the winter and they dig up their stored food. Ground squirrels have shorter tails useful for navigating burrows, while tree squirrels have longer tails that help them balance when leaping and running across narrow branches. Squirrels have a variety of diet uh, that typically includes uh, nuts, seeds, fruits, berries, fungi, and sometimes insects, bird eggs, and small vertebrates like lizards, so they are omnivorous. Squirrels start mating around a year old, breeding twice a year in midwinter and spring. Tree squirrels usually have three to five pups, while ground squirrels can have up to ten. It is interesting to note that these newborns are born blind and hairless, weighing just 14 grams and measuring about an inch long. So they drink their mother's milk uh, for about three months before starting to eat solid food. They can live up to 10 to 15 years, though many fall prey to animals like foxes, raccoons, snakes, eagles and owls. One of the many defenses squirrels use against rattlesnakes is that they chew on shed rattlesnake skins and apply the scent to itself by licking all over. This camouflages its own scent, helping it to avoid being attacked by hungry rattlesnakes. Besides shed skins, they also pick up snake odor from the ground and other surfaces where snakes have been, using it to mask their own scent. Squirrels face threats from diseases like squirrel pox. Grey squirrels have built up immunity over time but can still spread the virus to red squirrels, who have no immunity. The mortality rate for untreated red squirrels is nearly 100%, with most dying within 4-5 to five days. This virus causes skin ulcers, lesions, scabs and swelling near the eyes, mouth, feet and genitalia. Infected squirrels also become increasingly lethargic as the disease progresses. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you love squirrels too, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more. See you in the next video.